young, middle, or elderly citizen of Hawaii, welcome to June. I hope you're having a good morning, day, or evening today. For how can I know what time of day it is where you are for you're probably watching me on the internet. I'm just going to guess. Um, anyways, I'm Sachiko Sloma for Radar News on Think Tech Hawaii. And today, I proudly present to you our Radar News covering the discoveries and events our three critical news stories are shedding light on for the month of May. Two Dutch scientists from Delft University of Technology have created a bladeless wind turbine that may completely revolutionize wind power. Their monolithic mechanism is called the Ewakon, standing for the Electrostatic Wind Energy Converter, an invention that may be appropriate for urban settings because it has no larger rotating parts, produces less noise, and creates minimal shade. The classic model of wind power that you are perhaps more privy to uses rotating turbines to harness the kinetic energy of the wind, which then an electric generator turns into electric energy. The Ewakon instead harnesses electric energy excuse me, by passively letting the wind move charged water particles against the direction of an electric field. As clean energy is one of the fastest growing fields in applied technology today, the Ewakon may be just one revolution out of many that you can expect as we draw closer and closer to a more resilient environment. The Cameron Crowe film about to hit theaters, Aloha, is outraging many Native Hawaiians and locals over what they believe to be a disrespectful misappropriation of culture and the simplification of a word and force rich with meaning. The outrage reflects the importance to dig a little deeper during research when filming in a community already well familiar with the oversimplification of their culture. The lashback also reflects the protection and respect Hawaii has for its community and history. Aloha was untitled during film production in 2013, but Hawaii State Film Commissioner Don Dawson said if she had known of their choice for the title, she would have advised against it. Dawson said of Hawaii's role in the movies dating back to 1913, 1913 excuse me again, uh, with movies like Blue Hawaii and From Here to Eternity, we've had a century of misrepresentation, of misunderstanding, of miscommunication of who we are. We have fallen prey to the stereotypical ideas that people have about Hawaii. It's not based in truth and it's not authentic. A volcano erupted in southern Japan on the 29th, spewing ash high into the sky and forcing the small island residents to evacuate. The eruption of Mount Shindake on Kuchinoerabu Island supposedly had no warning of the eruption. The event produced a large plume nine kilometers high and sent pyroclastic flows to the ocean. Though no deaths were reported, the few injured were airlifted to nearby Yakushima Island, about seven miles to the east. Kuchino at Abu Island, which is fairly isolated, can usually only be reached by a once-a-day ferry from Yakushima. The Coast Guards quickly sent boats to the boat. This event reflects us back to the magnitude 9 earthquake that rocked northeastern Japan in the spring of 2011, an earthquake that triggered a tsunami that killed more than 18,000 people, ravaging much of the northern Pacific coast. Japan sits along the Pacific Ring of Fire and is frequently jolted by earthquakes. Sensitivity and concern for our Earth and its communities is necessary moving forward. I'm Sachiko Sloma for Radar News on Think Tech. If you think there is an important something we need to bring a brighter light to in our news media, send it to us at thinktechhawaii.com and we will do our best to have it featured. Here at Radar News and at Think Tech, we have just as much a responsibility to you as you do to your local world. Sayonara and shalom, and we'll see you next time in June.